Why it is not required? Observe that. Observe that. If I can take class C extends P, sir. Class C extends P. What is the meaning of that? Sir, for the P, I am creating child class. Whatever, whatever members are there in the P, I want, I want, sir. I don't want to rewrite again. All members of P, can you please make it available to C for that purpose, for the code reusability purpose, I am creating object. I am creating child class, right? Now observe, in this case observe, class A extends A. Sir, all members of A, all members of A, I want to A class. Are you, all members of A, I want to A class. All members of A are already available in the A class. Why you are writing? Why you are writing like this? Immediately compile time error we are going to get. Are you, the members of A already available inside A. Why you are taking this one? Unnecessary, sir, extra code. That's why compiler won't accept. Now here observe, class A extends B. Sir, all members of B required to A. All members of B required to A. Next, class B extends A. All members of A required to the B. Are A required B members, B required A members. If A required B members, B required A member, why you are taking two classes, better to take a single class. Are you getting better to take one single class only? Because A required B, B required A. We are not required to take two classes. So all the members only single class is enough. Clear for all of you, right? So that's why cyclic inheritance is not really required. This type of inheritance is called cyclic, which is not really required. That's why Java won't provide support for cyclic inheritance. Not only Java, even Python also won't provide support for that. 